click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we will discuss about an issue with the allocation of frames that is given with the non uniform memory access on numa what are the advantages of having a non uniform memory access and what are the cons of having multiple threads inside a non uniform memory access and how l groups can solve that problem till now we have assumed that a main memory is created equally or at least they are accessed equally but this is not true for most of the operating system nowadays the system having multiple cpus and memories are having this type of non uniform memory so where the multiple cpus and the memory are placed on different different system boards on that particular processing unit now suppose a system board is containing multiple memory and some section of memory is that it now the multiple cpus and along with some section memory the cpu can access the memory on that particular system board with less delay with the other system board containing other memory now if we can see that the system boards are interconnected with each other by a many various ways from some system buses to some high speed internet work connections like in fine band now whenever a memory access is done and the cpu is having different type of memory access time for a single processing unit then the memory access is called non uniform memory access on numa now systems with numa is obviously slower than the systems which have all the cpus and memory placed within the same motherboard now the allocation of paging frames inside this non uniform memory access can cause a great significant effect on that particular system performance or cpu throughput suppose we have processes which required a number of pages so where the page and the fetch frames will be allocated during the entire process of execution it can scatter through the different system boards of memory so we need to choose that the cpu to schedule the processes pages as close as possible that means the process in which the pages are allocated should be kept on the same cpu and the same system board with the cpu that is giving the minimum latency period that is causing the minimum latency period for that particular execution now if we consider that for a uniform access of memory then the cpu may talk have longer waiting time for each processes paging frame allocation but as we are talking about a non uniform memory access into account then we can say that we can allocate the frames more closely to the cpu because placing them by the system same board so here we are not only minimizing the latency but also increasing the system throughput now as you can see that the system get more more complicated when the concept of thread arrives here now the algorithm changes that made to this type of numa access can made consist of having the scheduler track of the last cpu on which the process was running on now if we can schedule the processes pages on the last cpu it was access to then the memory requirements then references to the pages on which the cpu it is scheduled to thus they can perform the minimum amount of the latency or the minimum amount of taking time to access that particular latency so it will definitely increase our cpu utilization now if threads are introduced inside a process then it can have a process may are running all the threads or many threads at a time and the threads are then allocated in different types of memory or different cpu on different system boards so then it will be many much complicated to calculate this type of algorithm changes that should be taken into account for numa now solaris prevents this type of uses of thread and address to this problem by using a group called latency group or l group each end loop is containing as are gathered together multiple cpus as possible so they are containing the cpu and memory in a single unit that is it is minimizing the latency 
or it is closing the CPU and memory as close as possible. Now whenever an L group tries to accessing a thread, then it will be hierarchy of L groups will be revised. This hierarchy of L groups is maintained by the difference of the minimum latency between the L groups. Whenever it want to allocate a thread, it should allocate all the threads within a process and all the pages that the process will be required inside a single L group. If the L group is not sufficient to meet this requirement, then it may choose a close L group or the closest L group to meet the rest of the resource requirements. In this way, this L group can improve the performance and minimize the effective memory access time and giving the maximum CPU throughput. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.